Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and just to show you an idea what's the difference between tuning in a BFO and tuning in with a radio that has perfect frequency accuracy. Um, no hertz in here so it's finished as at one kilohertz uh, precision. So here this is Trenton Military 6754. Now you have to play with the BFO to get the voice correct. There we go. And this is the problem. This is where most people have a hard time tuning single sideband. When you're on a frequency, and especially if you don't know the frequency, you might be tuning and you might be finding that the, you know, I hear something in single band here. And you might say, oh, look at that. I'm hearing something on 6755. You go on forums, you tell them, there are, well, there's nothing on 6755. There's something on 6754. You're going to tell them, well, it was 6755. In reality, it's 6754 because that precision isn't good enough. It might sound like, you know, a big fuss for nothing. But in reality, that big fuss isn't for nothing. Is really that the radio is um, not precise enough to give you the correct frequency. The other thing is a lot of people fuss with a BFO on trying to get the proper voice. And that is, you know, when you get used to it, it's easy. As you see here, I do it easily because I'm used to it. I've done it so many times. But the number of comments I get of people saying, I've, I've, I have a hard time getting voices correctly on with a BFO. And then there's the upper lower sideband thing, or which upper, what's lower? Well, the majority of everything is upper sideband, except the handbands in below, you know, 10 megahertz, and a few exceptions to the rule. Where you actually gain here is that on a radio that's very precise like this one, as long as you're on the right frequency, it will already sound correct. There you go. No fussing, no going crazy as to playing with a BFO or anything. The only thing you might want to play with on the fine tune is on stations like, uh, for example, amateur stations mostly, that are slightly off frequency. Then you'll try to get their voice correctly using the fine tuning button, but you know that once you have get the correct tone, you are tuned to the precise frequency of the transmissions. No guessing is it 6755, 6753, it's 6754 and that's it. And with the calibration, frequency calibration, this is kind of cool, it helps a lot. So that is the difference between tuning um, a less precise radio with a BFO and a much more precise receiver with, you know, frequency accuracy. Um, it makes it easier to tune uh, most of the time. And if you have, you know, any transmissions that you see in single sideband that says, oh, it's that frequency, well, you just punch in the frequency and you, you know you're all right. You don't have to fuss. Where the, um, you know, other, the older receiver, well, you'll get on the frequency, but maybe you'll have to, you know, clear, get the correct voice um, by playing with a BFO. So these are, you know, advantages sometimes on some other radios. I mean, once you get used to it on an older radio like this, it's fine. It, it works great. I mean, I've, I've used so many receivers that, you know, you have to tune a BFO uh, that once you get used to it, you, you do it pretty fast and pretty well. But still, that frequency accuracy could be a problem unless you notice where you're tuned, where's the BFO tuned when you're on the precise frequency. That could give you an indication of if yes or no, you're on the precise frequency. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.